all the different types of turtles and tortoises that they're gonna get fed today with these kind of things. Yeah. Eye to the ball vision. Let's see how this goes. Ready? Woo! And this is for all the yellow foot tortoises. So I'm just gonna. All right. What is going on Ranch Fam? Welcome back to the channel here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today it is a beautiful hot winter day. It's about 80 degrees here in South Florida and uh, that's beautiful because the animals love it like that because it's a tropical place, South Florida. So what we're gonna do actually is we have a bunch of fruits that got donated to me that I picked up and got from other people and uh, we're gonna go feed all of our tropical tortoises and turtles that love fruits. They don't get fruits all the time but they only get it about once a week on top of other things but we're gonna get over there right now and I'm gonna show you the, the diversity of all different types of stuff that we got that's absolutely insane. So let's head to this table and start cutting some stuff like Fruit Ninja. So I set everything up for you guys to make it look very presentable because normally I don't do it this way. Normally I just do it a lot more quicker but I wanna show you guys and go through it all on all the different types of fruits and veggies that I can use for my animals here and what you guys can use as well at your local market or any kind of produce place that sells uh, food for people. This is the same thing that the animals eat, obviously. So right here, we have a bunch of bananas that were supposedly bad. I mean, this one is pretty freaking rotten, but uh, this, these are perfectly fine. I mean, I can take a bite out of this and these guys are good. So we're just gonna take them off and cut them up and put them in different spots. I have bowls and buckets and things of that sort to organize for all the different types of turtles and tortoises that they're gonna get fed today with these kind of things. Over here we have some pears, we have zucchini, we have some other kind of small pear. That's a that's a baby pear. Uh, right here we have uh, cactus pears. These are really, really good. It's a nice red color inside. It'll actually stain your hands. Animals love, love this stuff right here. If the tortoises, everybody, actually sulcatas and stuff can eat this very well as well. Um, oranges and things of that sort, no citrus, so that gets out of here. Uh, what else? We have here we have it says damage, do not return to the shelf, meaning bad for people, but for animals, it's perfect. So we have carrots, broccoli, celery, tomatoes, and more broccoli. We can use that for the animals without a problem. Got some yellow squash here, apples. This right here is a um, what is this called? There's some a little bit of guac on there. What is this called? I don't know how to say the name of it. I forget what this is, but this is a very, very like high fiber, very, very good type of, to be honest, I don't even know if it's a fruit or a vegetable. Um, if you know what it is, put it in the comments what type this is. But this right here is a very, very good type of fruit or vegetable that I love to use for my smaller species of tortoises. So actually, we'll keep this to the side, cut this up in small little pieces, mix it up with greens, and mix it so for like the radiators and things of that sort. It's very like, very good for them. So um, let's start cutting. There's gonna be like some fruit ninja stuff here. Broccoli stay over there. We got some lettuce and stuff. We got, oh yeah, here, look over here. We got a bunch of good fresh greens. All different remain, collard, green leaf, red leaf. This is the red leaf. We got collard, we got green leaf. We got so much stuff. So let's just start cutting stuff up and let's do it. So me and Dylan, we just took a little pause because we went out and we got all the heads off and got all the stickers off everything that is here. There might still be a few left, so if you see any, well, take them off, do not worry. But, Dylan, there's still more citrus here. And with citrus, we gotta get rid of these things. So I got a nice little bat right here, and uh, I'm gonna try to hit that stop sign. So let's see how that goes. Eye to the ball vision, let's see how this goes, ready? Woo! That's not happening, try another one. <laughs> Willie will eat these out there. So let's start chopping and uh, putting things everywhere. So pretty much we're just gonna organize everything to about as much as that I think the animals will eat. So we're gonna start with the bananas, we're gonna go with bananas and go through everything. I'm not gonna take the peel off because if you guys know, in the wild, there's nobody out there for them to take the peel off. So what happens is it's on the tree, goes like that, falls on the floor and they get it. And if you think about it, these right here are prime. This is what the monkeys and the birds that fly and everything is gonna be eating these things. So when it falls on the floor, it's probably already this color if you think about it. We're going to Peru. When we go to Peru, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm showing you guys here, but in the wild, 
by the time it hits the floor, it's gonna be rotten. So these animals are fine with stuff that is not human consumption because the animals are fine. They're perfectly fine, but whatever. Let me just get to the point. Food is all perfectly fine for these guys. So what we're gonna do now is just chop them in half and that is it and the peel staying on it. And they get eat through the peel and do what they want because like I said, there's nothing for them to do in the wild that they can't find. And the way I throw my food out there, I do not place it on a plate. The reason why I don't place it on the plate is because the same exact thing. Many people in South Florida know about this. I'm sure you guys know. Miami, especially. Mango trees, just like that one right there. Look at all the flowers on it. When those things fall down, they don't get, they don't fall and get placed perfectly on a nice, beautiful bowl. They fall everywhere in the dirt. So when I go feed, I grab the whole bucket and throw it just like it got spread it, just like spread it from all the trees so that it's just natural. It's just a natural instinct for them to scavenge and just look through the, the environment of their enclosure and find stuff and eat it all the time. But um, yeah, enough rambling around and stuff and telling facts. We are going to keep cutting stuff up. This right here is some zucchini, right? That's zucchini, right? Yeah, it's definitely zucchini. And we're gonna just chop one whole zucchini up right there. And I really don't need to chop it up, but we gotta be sometimes a little bit nice to the animals. You know what I mean? Be a little bit, that's why they're in captivity. You gotta pamper them some. But this right here is plenty of nice pampering for them. All right, so right here, we're gonna cut these giant pears in half. So right here, this giant bin right here is going to be for the yellowfoot tortoises. So throw that there. The yellowfoots are gonna eat good today. This is a pear, it has seed in it. It has a seed, so we're not gonna cut those. They could just bite through that. We got a baby apple right there. One and a half, there we go. That has a seed, you can't cut that. We got zucchini right here, so let's look at the inside of this one. Zucchini. Oh, yeah, that one, kiwi. Kiwi, my bad. <laughs> I like the insides of it a lot, real pretty. A couple more bananas, so it's pretty good there. What else we got? We got some yellow squash. There we go, we got another apple right here, but it's a yellow apple. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next bowl. Oh, let's give them a little bit of this uh, cactus pear. Look at the inside of this, you guys. Insane, look how yellow this fruit is right here. Now watch the inside. Wow, what the heck happened? That's the first time I've seen a white one before. All right, maybe that's why they have to be red. Maybe those aren't ripe yet. Huh? Maybe that's what that means. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Look how bright red that stuff is. When the turtles start eating this, their face looks like they got a freaking their head cut off because how bloody it looks, but it's just from the inside of that color. Beautiful stuff right there. You'll see, I'll show you when the redfoots eat some of that. Maybe it's different types. I'm not too sure if you guys know about those pears, cactus pears, maybe there's different types of them. I'm not really 100% sure. So that's enough of me talking right now. I'm gonna keep cutting a bunch of those, prep everything up so that we can walk to the back. I'm gonna show you guys all the tortoises eating. So uh, let's do it. the next. Got some tomatoes. So what do we got here? Which bowls are for who? All right. So the bigger, larger bowls are gonna be for the species of turtles that I have a lot more of and that are larger. So this big one right here will be for the red foots or the yellow foots. Red foots or yellow foots. And this is gonna be for the mountain tortoises that are over there. So this will be for the smaller species of box and Asian wood turtles, wood turtles, wood turtles, wood turtles. So that's what's going on right now. And we have a lot of fruits and veggies, so I'm gonna start getting more handfuls of it and throwing it in there. It all has to get used today because yes, it will go bad. It won't be bad for the animals, but then they'll just create flies absolutely everywhere. So I would like to get it into the enclosure. They might not all eat it today, but they'll eat it in the next day or so. That's why I'm not gonna cut everything up because they'll just get it all. It's all mixed fruits and veggies, so it's great for them and they're just gonna munch it up they're gonna love this they're gonna all come out it's a beautiful day here in florida so it's really really sunny and they're just they smell that stuff they're probably already freaking out i bet you they're already up and moving so 
everybody is completely filled up to the T and even more than normal. Um, so they're gonna eat really, really good. And we still have a lot left over and these are the ones that still have stickers on them. These are the best looking ones that are not too ripe and they're still good for probably next week. So what I'm gonna do with all this, I'm gonna throw it inside of my fruit refrigerator and keep that for throughout the week. Make sure you guys are following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram. Go do that right now. Go follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna make a live story right now that I do all the time talking about what I'm doing today because you guys won't see this in a couple days. So that's why you gotta follow me on Instagram to see what's going on every single day. But um, let's head to the back and start making a feast. So this is actually, you know, it's really cool too. This is the first week of the new year that their animals are getting all their new fruits because last year they got all these fruits, but this is the first time in the new year that they got all these brand new fruits. So uh, let's head out and start feeding. Let's load up. Freaking, I'm telling you, I use this cart so much, so freaking much. Load everything up over here and uh, let's head to the back and start dumping everybody out, all the foods and everything. That's a big one right there. Ugh. So uh, let's do it, we're gonna save this for well, the sort is actually let me grab some produce. So Willie already smells the fruits. So I'm gonna give him a little bit. And then Petrie might come out, but Petrie actually has all his own special fruits, veggies, and all that for his own. Because like what I was saying earlier, these guys live in the trees, in the canopies of the jungles. So they get all the fresh fruits before they hit the floor. So this stuff could possibly hurt him because it's not fresh and fresh for him. So that's why it's perfect for all the animals that live on the bottom of the jungles, in the bottom of the woods or wherever they're from because it falls off the tree. And once a fruit falls off the tree, most of the time it's very, 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 very ripe. So we're gonna bring one half of a five gallon bucket inside of here. And we're just gonna get it and I'm gonna just literally sprinkle it in. There you go. It doesn't look like that much, but that's enough for all these guys. I'll tell you that much. It'll be here till tomorrow, just like how that lettuce was there from yesterday. But uh, on to the next enclosure. So inside of this enclosure right here, which doesn't look like anything at all, there are about seven to eight. No, there is actually eight Asian box turtles in here. And there are uh, South American wood turtles, the ones that I produce very well here as well. So um, just... Drop it all around, and when they come out early mornings and evenings, come and eat. There we go. So, that is done. Now we are gonna head to the Yellowfoot. So let's go to the Yellowfoots. Today wasn't really that much of a produce day. It was more of a fruit and veggie day, so that's why the tortoises that don't eat fruits and veggies are really just getting a snack, a little bit of greens just to go in their mouth today. Um, but the other guys that eat a lot of fruits and veggies, obviously, as you can see, they're getting a lot. big old container right here and this is for all the yellowfoot tortoises so I'm just gonna all right just like that it gets spread it across the whole entire enclosure and then up there as well there was no guava in here but if you guys see on the tips of the bottom of the trees the pieces that they get down they get actually really fresh guava because it's hitting the ground so the yellowfoot reach up and grab some guava from that guava tree but um let's keep on moving and uh Got four more bowls. Who else is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Iceberg lettuce. We're just going to go throw this to the capybaras. This is just a treat. This is literally just water for them, but it's some type of green that they can have. Here, girls. Eat it. You guys know you want it. Munch up. So, in here we have wood turtles, Central American and Honduran wood turtles. So, let's go in. What the heck is going on here? All right. So those are some specials. So I'm just gonna dump one full bowl here for them. And then same thing inside over here. There you go, everybody's gonna have a bunch of fruits and veggies to eat up in here. So next up are going to be the Burmese black mountain tortoise. And these are right here. So let's throw this in here. So we're just gonna dump a little bit here. We're gonna dump a little bit over there. We're gonna dump some over here. They have a very large grow out cage actually. This is just a grow out until they go some else. And then throw some back over there in the back. So there's fruits and veggies absolutely everywhere for these guys. And uh, that's a small one. There's actually a very large black one who's in here. That little one that you just saw at the beginning, 
I've had him since the same exact size. He's a massive guy. He's almost at breeding age, and we're definitely gonna have to find him a male or a female so we can get going on breeding them here on the ranch because she is not gonna be ready with him anytime soon. All right, so that is it for all the turtles and tortoises that can eat fruits and veggies here on the ranch. So I'll see you guys back to the front of the ranch. So let's do it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. He's scratching his stomach on a pear. <laughs> That's funny as heck. Rubbing his stomach on a pear right there. That is funny. And now it's just done. I might take a bite of that just, uh, kiwi. That's funny, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Literally. That's a good way to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the ranch. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed feeding all of the turtles and tortoises here at the ranch. And um, I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Peace out, everybody.